Alright then my friends, so we saw in the last video how we could create a new document inside this Bruce collection for every user that signs up and give that some dummy data to begin with. Obviously the user can change this in the future, but at the minute we only have one document for that user, right? And that's because we've only signed up once since we implemented this behavior. Now we have actually created multiple other users previously, either anonymously or with email and password before we started to create that document for those users. So what I'm going to do now is delete every user except for this one at the top because we do have a document for that one. The rest of them we don't have a document for. So I'm just gonna go through these now and delete each one. Now I'm not gonna make you sit there and watch this as I do it. So I'm gonna fast forward now and I'll see you after this is done. Right then, so now we're left with just this one user right here, and that one user has a Firestore document as well inside the Bruce collection. So everything's nice and clean now. It's like we're starting from a blank slate. Okay, so I can cross this off now. And what I want to do now is talk about how we can get the data from Firestore into our app. So now we have documents for new member signups. We can start to use all of that data and show it right here on the home screen. Now to do that, we're gonna set up another stream, which is gonna notify us of any changes or documents or any document changes in the database. To do that, we're gonna be setting up another stream, which is gonna notify us of any documents or any document changes in the database. Now we've already seen how streams work with the Firebase Auth service, whereby we're notified every time there was a change in authentication. Now this time, our stream is gonna notify us of documents inside the Firestore collection initially, and also of any changes to those documents when they occur. Is a new document added? Okay, come down the stream and notify us. Is a document changed? Then come down the stream and notify us. Now every bit of data we get down that stream is gonna be a snapshot of that particular collection, the Bruce collection, at that moment in time. Now, that snapshot is basically just gonna be an object which contains the current documents and their properties and values inside the collection at that moment in time. So then it's gonna be our job to get that data we need from that snapshot and organize it in a way that we want in our app. So say for example, we add a new document, right? When a user signs up at that moment in time, we're gonna get a snapshot down through the stream to our app and that snapshot will represent the bruise collection at that moment in time it will contain the documents in it including the one that's just been added okay so then we can extract that data and do something with it likewise if we just change a document again in the database this time we get a fresh snapshot down the stream that represents the current state of that collection including the fresh change okay so we're getting up to date data all of the time, an up-to-date snapshot of the Bruce collection. So the first step now is to set up this stream to listen to the database inside this database service class. So let's come down here and first of all do a comment that says get Bruce stream so we know what this is. Then we need a stream and we need to specify the return type that we expect down this stream and that is going to be a query snapshot. So this is a snapshot of the Firestore collection at that moment in time when something changes, okay? So this is a getter, so we say get and then name it. I'm gonna call it Bruise, but you can call it what you want. And inside we need to return a stream. Now we need to say Bruise collection, which is the collection reference we set up right up here, which references the Bruise collection. So we need to return that dot snapshots. So this is a method built in to the Firestore library right here, and we can access this on the collection. So this now returns us a stream, and I've noticed an error, and that's because I've got an S in here, and it should just be brew collection. Okay, so now we have this stream set up, we can go ahead and try to use it in the home screen. So I'm gonna save this now, and then I'm gonna go over to the home screen. So let me open this up. It's inside the home folder and home over here. So now we can use the provider package to listen to that stream inside this home screen. So let's first of all import a couple of things. We need this database file and we also need to import the provider package. 
So let me say import and first of all I'll say services and then we want the database file and then secondly we also want the provider package so import and then provider and it's provider.dart we need. Okay, so we've imported those two things now. We can try to set up the provider to wrap this scaffold. So I'm going to go to the action menu over here and go to wrap with new widget. And this widget is going to be the stream provider. So stream provider, like so. And the type is going to be query snapshot. That's the type of data we're getting back down the stream. Now we get an error because we've not imported the Firestore library. And this is only available via that Firestore package. So now let me import that at the top as well. Import and then Firestore and it's the cloud Firestore one right here. Okay, so now we're setting up the stream. We need to say dot value to specify what the value of this stream is going to be. And we need a value property right here. And this value is going to be database service to get an instance of that database service, which is this class over here. We don't need to specify a UID because the thing that we're using right here doesn't need the UID. So we just need to call this stream. So it's dot bruise. OK, so now we've specified that we want this stream to be used and to wrap the rest of the widget tree. So now in descendant widgets, we can access the data. So now what I'm going to do is come beneath the app bar and I'm going to specify a body property. And in the body property, I'm going to nest a new widget that I've not created yet called BrewList. Now we're going to get an error because this doesn't exist yet. But what I'm going to do is save this and then come over here and inside the home folder, I'm going to create a new file called brew underscore list dot dart and this widget is going to be responsible for outputting the different brews on the page or rather cycling through them okay so let us first of all import a couple of things we need the material package so we'll import that i also want to import cloud firestore so i'll say import and firestore and it's this one right here and finally, I'm going to import the provider package because we're going to access some data from the stream. So I'll say import provider like so. OK, now we want a stateful widget. There is going to be state in this widget at some point. So STFUL and we're going to call this brew list. OK, so inside this state object down here inside the build function, what we're going to do is try to access the data from the stream. So first of all, let's do that. We'll say final brews is equal to provider dot of and then the data type, which is query snapshot. And then the context goes into that function. OK, so we've seen this before when we've tried to access the data from the auth stream and we're just accessing the brews this time. So now what we could do is cycle through those brews and we could just print them out for now. So what I'm going to do is actually just print brews. Now at the minute, there's only probably going to be one brew in this, but let's see what happens. I'm going to now import this widget into the home screen. So let me go up here and say import and it's going to be screens and then into the home folder and then we want the brew list. OK, so now if I save this and view over here, nothing changes. But if I open up the terminal now, debug console, we can see there's an error there, but that's fine. We sorted that out and we can see instance of query snapshot. OK, so that's what we're printing out inside the brew list over here. Now, that's not very useful, but what I could do is print out brews.documents and that gets us all of the documents inside the Firestore collection. And we can see now we have an instance of a document snapshot this time right here. So again, that's not really very useful to us. But what we could do is cycle through the documents and output the data for each document. So what I'm going to do is comment this out right here and I'm going to come down below and say for and then var doc in bruise dot documents. And for each one, I'm going to print the doc data. 
Okay, so what's happening? Well, we're getting the brews and we're cycling through those using a for loop and we're saying for each doc in brews.documents. And by the way, you can call this what you want. And then we're printing out the data from each document. So once we have a reference to a particular document snapshot, we can use data on that to get the data. So if I save it now, then we should see there, this object right here. It says sugar zero, strength 100, and name new crew member. Now it's only outputting one because that's all we have. But if I log out now, and I'm going to register with a new user, this will be mario at the net ninja.co.uk and test one, two, three, four, register. And we should see now two of these documents. So if we scroll right down, we do get an error, but then we see these two things right here. And they are the two documents in our brews collection. Now we did get an error up here and it says the getter documents was called on null right here. So there is a problem, but don't worry about that for now. We are gonna address all this as we go forward so we don't get errors. For now, I just wanted to show you how we can set up this stream to listen to Firestore and a particular collection inside that Firestore database. And every time there's a change in data or when we first load the app, we get that snapshot back and we can get the documents and the data in those documents so we can do something with them. At the minute, we're just printing it to the console down here, but later on, we are gonna output them to the screen. So then now we have access to all of this data in real time via a stream of snapshots, but it's taken a bit of manipulation right here to actually get the data we want it would be better to map this snapshot stream into a stream of custom objects which represent brews in our app so we don't have to do all of this when we need the data. We've seen a similar thing when we've taken a Firebase user and turned it into our own user based on a user model class. We're going to do something similar now for our brews and create a brew model class in the next video.